you grab hold of the foot of Jabov. And what are you trying to do? I, I can buy something. <laughs> <laughs> what are you do? I because I sort of feel that I'm five meters. I've scaled up five meters. Oh. And he's standing on, One star on top of that. Visual effects. I would like to grab his ankle yep. and just dangle him downwards. Yeah. All right. Um, I think that's fair. We're, we're going to unbalance him. Let's decide whether J. Bob manages to stay in the perfect pose. Make us a laser roll, please. J. Bob. Don't stop. <laughs> Whilst also doing that pose. I can't. I we can't don't have the budget for another person to do it. <laughs> I'd need to have a for version of D Beyond over there somewhere. <laughs> that to work. Doesn't work. Yeah. Unfortunately, I rolled a three, oh. which is kind of exactly what I wanted to happen. No. So unfortunately, your foot is pulled, and you start to dangle off, and you're holding onto the side. So Julian, holding on to. It's almost like a Frodo Gollum moment, where. The two of you are hanging onto the side of this mast. And to be honest with you, you've only got a couple of foot drop below you, so. But <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab him by his hair, and I'm gonna rub his face on the inscription that says "boats crap." Uh, J. Bov. Not malicious, just teaching. Yeah, go on, make us feelings for that. Five. Ooh. Oh no. As you rub his face into it, J Bov, what are you doing? I accept. <laughs> this is often the reaction I get from people who don't own boats. Okay. It's the natural order of the world. Jealousy. Understood. Understood. Well, as. Uh... <laughs> I'm fine because I own a boat. Several, in fact. <laughs> Are you telling him this as he's rubbing your face into... <laughs> of course, I've said this out loud. <laughs>